Last week on Pole House Bike Pot Weekend Getaways, we arrived at Davisdale Conservation Area in rural Howard County, and we fixed Irish soda bread. This week, we show you the rest of Davisdale Conservation Area, and on the menu, Pasta Primavera, so stick around. This is Wade, and I'm Angel, and this is Iris, and we are Pole House, Black Pots, Weekend Getaways, where we show you all things yummy to cook in cast iron as we visit different places. Davisdale Conservation Area was purchased in 1981 and started originally out as several smaller farms. That's where we're camping down, right there down that gravel road. Now, there's also another one hidden, Jim. There's no sign for this particular area. This conservation area is about 2,700 acres. And is one of our favorite sites. We've camped here a couple of times. Well, Iris, you wanna go check out this camping location? Let's go look at it. What do you think? Okay, come on. This is an access to the KD Trail. Meaning you can hike in here. That's the camping area. No open fire. Well, I made it back from work. Andrew's been busy getting some prep work done But I for didn't supper. do any video on it. It's the sous chef, she's my sous chef yeah, today. Yeah, so. sous chef. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Davis Dale. Yep, Davis Dale. And uh, I, I hope I let you know some of the history of it once I figure it out. So what are you cooking tonight and We're here? trying a new recipe that we've never done, but we I've, I've had it before in Italian restaurants, and it's called Pasta Primavera. And when I did a little research, looking it up, it says Primavera means springtime in So that's Italian. why you had me cut up a zucchini yeah, and so a whole it's bunch spring, of peppers. So it's not really an authentic Italian dish, and of course it's a pasta dish, but it is supposedly, I think it even said not that many, like in the 1970s, chefs in New York and the big fancy restaurants were looking for something to showcase the springtime and early summer type of vegetables. It has an ingredient I love in it, doesn't it? Pasta. Pasta, and, and, you, know, and you can make this without chicken and make it vegetarian if you want. Which would make a nice side dish. Yes, too. you make a nice side dish because it's got uh, chicken bait, chicken stock, which we don't have, right? No, we have any, got so we're using another stock. We're using another uh, beef. I mean, another seasoning based bouillon type of stuff, and then broccoli and summer not summer squash zucchini is what you could find. Yeah, you find some the squash. summer squash was yeah. nasty. Yeah. So that, you know, it's it's more late spring and into the summer, and then some peppers and. Uh, Peas. Peas, yeah. So And then tomatoes. And then the it's a light sauce, mainly with fresh grated Parmesan. Of course, with it being Italian. So I'm going to go around I want to go back up. to the Davisdale thing. Yes. I have been here all day, and there has been nobody here. 
So, other than a few fishermen that just yeah, left, right down over the head where we can't I even see it. There's a nice. If you're traveling lake. and need some place to pull over and don't want to park at a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart in Missouri, these conservation areas are easy to. Get, usually pretty easy to get into. Really yeah. easy to find if yeah. you go to the website that I'm putting down below here. Yeah. You put what you're looking for. Camping needs to be the first thing. And uh, it can tell you. I mean, there's several of them. This one isn't too far from I-70. Yeah, there's sorry. also Harriman, which we have tried to stay there. Yeah, it's down several along times. the Lamine River, right along I-70. But it but got it flooded. Floods. Yeah, flooded yeah, last floods. week, so it's kind of icky looking. But it's really a muddy. nice place to go. And there's places within 10 miles of every main highway in Missouri. Yeah, so. and quite a few of them are just parking lot camping, but if you're just traveling overnight, who cares? That's right. The parking lot camping is really, if you've got a fairly decent sized rig, they're easy to get into. You can make, come in, pull around, they're a big old parking lot spot. What's well, one parking Stop lot? Park. Yeah. At least this one would be quiet. You ain't gonna have to worry about people peeling into the Walmart yeah. parking lot. And there's, usually there's not very much, very many people camping at these, especially in the off season or especially in week weeknights. Yes. So. Except for maybe hunting season, but usually fall and a little bit in the spring for turkey. That's about it. So I guess I better get over by the fire and Angel's going to get behind the camera, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I got the Dutch oven. We're doing a 12-inch Dutch oven and it's preheating over the fire. Let me see if this lid's getting too hot. No, it's, well, it is getting warm. <laughs> so I didn't bring anything to set the lid on. I might have to go, go get something here in a minute. I'll flip it over and then it won't get dirty. We'll bring something else out here in a minute. That's one thing you want to have a lid stand or something to sit on because you sit it down on the ground. Now that's Probably a lid gets dirty. smoking hot Dutch oven. So we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. It takes a fair amount because of olive oil is going to coat all the goodies. So we might have to add more olive oil. And we're going to use a couple of tablespoons of butter for flavor. My table is about full with ingredients. Okay, we're gonna stir this around, get that butter kind of pretty much melted. This comes together fairly quick. I don't think it's gonna be all that hard to come make. Hopefully it comes out good because we've never made it before. So sometimes you think it's kind of fun on this channel to try new recipes, not always do proven recipes that we know work and come out and well, we can't go too wrong with this kind of well, stuff. Well, honey, I've never actually tried this before, so this okay. is totally new to me. That butter is melted, and the olive oil is getting warm. So now we're going to put diced up, bite-sized chicken. And you use, this is chicken breast, isn't it? It's chicken breast. And you don't like breast, you can use, of course, you can use. Here, hand it back here. Okay. You can, of course, use uh, thighs. If you rather have thighs, you can buy thighs some places that are already boneless, skinless. But you can do whatever you like. We're going to cook this. They just cook a couple of minutes and get kind of browned up. Get some color on it. And okay, and I dropped the knife. I had to wash that again. I forgot to get salt and pepper, so I'll have to go get that. I'm back. And I also bought my lid stand for my... Got you having a lid. Okay. Season, we're going to use seasoned salt. We like seasoned salt. If you watch our channel, you know we use quite a bit of seasoned salt instead of regular salt quite often. Well, regular salt don't have anything in it to make it taste better. It's just and salt. Black pepper. Now, if you all remember, that's the same pepper shaker I was using last week. And it wasn't too much peppery for her egg rolls. They were perfect. Now, we've got the Dutch oven down fairly low because we want a fairly high heat. Because basically, you can do this like you were frying, okay? So, we'll let that cook a few more minutes. You got to phrase that Okay, up. I'm back. So, ooh, thank you to stir the fire. I'm going to have to raise it up. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Yeah. I stirred it because the log rolled away. Okay, our chicken's gotten kind of white 
It may not be completely done inside, but that's okay, because we're gonna, you can take it out, put it back in, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. We're gonna leave it in. This is a one pot dish. Lots of great one pot dishes are wonderful for, of course, Dutch ovens. But you don't have to have any special recipe. So we put some chopped up broccoli, and, and then we were gonna use summer squash because it has a different color, but we didn't find anything much, and it's a little early to have real fresh around here grown. So we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil to that to coat them. You gonna put any more seasoning salt in there? Mm, it's a little bit, yeah, I might put us a little bit of seasoning. Season each layer as we go, okay. That comes out real good. I'm gonna give this a stir. Okay, coat them real good. Okay, now, we kinda started with the vegetables that take the longest to cook, so we added them. Next is gonna be some red and orange Peppers, you want to put them all in? It's your recipe. I don't think it hurt anything. It'd be fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Joy's a cooking over fire, huh? <laughs> you get smoked out, you get blinded, and you get goody all over your eyes, in your eyes. Okay, now, you got several more things to put in, but we're not gonna put them in yet. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and add, uh, it's kinda, we're kinda iffy on exactly how much water because the recipe we looked up, we were kinda going off of had quite a bit of water and chicken stock, but it seemed like that was excessive amount. So we're gonna start with three cups. We're gonna make a smaller batch than what recipe we found. It's still gonna be more than what we can eat. Oh, I know, because it called for a whole pound of pasta. We're only gonna do half yeah. a pound. Still won't be able to eat it all, of course. So we're gonna bring that, stir all that together. Now, I think, what do you think? Heat that up a little bit before we add the pasta? I would. I think so too. So I'm gonna put the lid Let on. Let it cook a little while. Let that heat, and then when that comes to a boil, we'll put the pasta and get the pasta cooking. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, dear. Okay, I'm just gonna get the close up with the GoPro and you can see right in here, that means there's steam coming out, which means we're at a low boil. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Next step, add the pasta. Now, we don't want a ton of leftovers because we know we're gonna have a lot of leftovers anyway. So we're probably not even gonna use about a third of that, right? Yeah. This is some kind of whatever. You that said is. you wanted corkscrew, and I didn't like the, cut, the way it looked. That looked better to me. So, so we're gonna. Whoa! Right there. Enough. In the wall. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we got a couple more items to add. Now it said to use chicken base. We're gonna try something different that my mom gave me. Roasted garlic base. We haven't used it yet, but we're gonna try it. Just because it does smell garlic we can. here. Normally he'd use a spoon for that, but right. I'll put another one in there. Well, I've already got it. I have to wipe it off. Here. There we go. I don't want to get. I don't want to contaminate it and then cause it to not keep. So we got to dip it with a clean. Yes, because once you open that. Yeah. Which it was in our refrigerator. I thought it had already been open, but. Okay, and then we're gonna add, <clears throat> it says chopped basil, but we had, this is pretty good. Well, I couldn't find any chopped basil. I gotta kinda keep moving around. Or the any basil. Me. And this is of just a basil variety. paste, and a lot of people really highly recommend this stuff. It's being really good. So, <clears throat> fresh basil is another that stuff that's coming along 
late spring, early summer, last Your all summer. Your mom gets it growing up to where it's like a foot high. Clear up to her head. She's four we're foot nothing. We're gonna stir nothing. this in. Now we're gonna keep an eye on it. If it gets too dry, we may have to add a little bit more water because that soap, that pasta, of course, will soak it up. So we don't know yet. Are you gonna put garlic in there? You think that garlic? We better probably be have enough garlic with that garlic. Okay. Normally, and though, if you're not using that, put you some garlic in there, minced yeah. garlic. And we're not done yet, so we're going to put the lid back on. And let that pasta cook, and we'll be back in a few minutes to add the last few ingredients. So we'll see you in a minute. On this channel, we show you yummy, delicious, and interesting things to cook in cast iron most specifically Dutch ovens. Do you know we have a cookbook? It not only shows you great tips how to use your Dutch ovens, but it gives you our first two years of recipes. They're $20 with $6 shipping and handling. You can get those at Pole House Black Pots, P.O. Box 1 or 212, Fat Missouri 65248, or on Venmo. Yes, in the Venmo, look up Pole House Block Pots on Venmo. This is the last final touching ingredients. <laughs> I'm gonna get smoked up where you can see what's going on. Look at that. Shall I taste, take a taste of a noodle? Well, we got it. We're not quite done. Okay. We got a couple more things to add. And that is springtime fresh peas. Actually, these were frozen, but they're not now. Another great early summer, late spring type of ingredient. Like they stir them in. They won't take any time to heat up. Now, we're going to add more basil. We're going to add more basil because basil <coughs> is kind of a lighter type of herb so it cooks out so a lot of times basil is a good thing you could add right at the very end or even if you have some fresh chopped you can actually put that on as you serve unlike things like thyme and rosemary those type things you usually put in early and cook with or even marinade with you notice he's fighting the smoke oh yeah i'm kind of walking around trying to it's always chasing him when you're out that's the joy of cooking out over the fire I don't know if we call it a joy or not, but sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not no fun. Okay. All right, Angel. Let's see if the pasta is done. All right, burning my eyes again. Mm-hmm. It's all done, yeah. mm. <clears throat> Okay. I mean, to get me right back, I'm going to add one last couple. I'm going to get just a little butter for... We add another tablespoon of butter, stir that in at the very end for a little bit of richness. And the little cherry tomatoes, give them just a couple of minutes, kind of soften. And then. It's a colorful dish, isn't it? Yes, it is. Even would have been be more colorful. We had the yellow summer squash, which would be fine. It's okay. We got what we got. Two kinds of green. Yep. Still pretty. Now the part that makes it more Italian: grated Parmesan. Stir this in, give it a couple of minutes to, and this will help thicken that little bit of juicy sauce left in the bottom. <clears throat> now, I looked up several different recipes when I was trying to find what I wanted to do here tonight, and I noticed the majority of them <clears throat> are basically with this type of stuff here as far as the sauce. There was one or two that actually added, I think either cream or half and half or something. 
and I kind of thought, well, that might be kind of good, of course, to make a good cream sauce, but the whole idea here is to have a springtime vegetable, <coughs> excuse me, smoke again, springtime vegetable mix with some chicken, make a light, nice light sauce for spring, the winter's over, we don't need any hearty, hefty food anymore for a while, and this would be more refreshing, so that's why we decided to leave the cream out. So are we so, going to put the lid back on it and let it come lid out? Yep, temp? we're going to do a couple more temps. Uh, yeah, put the lid back on, bring everything to temp, and then the when we come back... The next time you see us, we'll, we'll be, be serving. That's right. My lid is cool enough now, barely. Ooh, maybe not. The lid is, that smoke isn't. Oh, the lid, hurt. The lid didn't hurt either. There we go. Look at all that yummy goodness. That's enough to start off with, I'd say. Okay, now. All right. You watch that. Now, what we're going to do is. Ooh, looky there. We have for serving a little bit more Parmesan. Top. Drizzle of olive oil. Fresh squeeze of lemon for you. There you go, hon. All right. So I guess I get a try it, don't I? Tell me what you think. Mmm. Mm. You hand me that and you get your <laughs> you serve yourself. Ooh, even the handle got hot on that wood. This is some good stuff, Maynard. Isn't that good? Yeah, it did. That's what we Very wanted. rarely do your ideas come out nasty, so. <clears throat> uh, don't leave that spoon in there, though. No, I'm going to sit that down for a second. Okay. All right, Parmesan to get it a little bit more. Now this should be real good if you had fresh basil, as I said earlier. Yeah. Put a little bit on there right now if you're a basil fan. Like my mom, my mom would love that. A That's why of, she has basil every year. It's big enough to, she could lose, you could lose her in it. A little bit of olive oil on top, a little bit of, and fresh squeeze of Fresh lemon on top. Oh, wart. Oh, well. Pasta, a little tomato, a piece of chicken, some that red pepper. Not a bit good, is it? That is good. And it's still light. It feels like it's light in it. Yeah. Now, you wanted to say something about next week's video. <clears throat> Yeah, because we're going to buy, what, we're going to close it down from for this yes, week? Yes, because I'm hungry. We need to move this. We're going to dump our food. Okay. <clears throat> but um, before we close out, we're going to enjoy our supper. Uh -huh. And we didn't bring any other way of, uh, like, two tripods or a big cooking thing where we can cook three Dutch ovens on. We just have the one tripod. So we're going to get this off the fire and get dessert started. And we're not going to show you that this week. You have to wait for next week to see it. And it is going to be a creamy rice pudding. And it's a pretty old recipe, mm -hmm. but it's, the, in our opinion, it's the bestest, mm -hmm. creamiest rice pudding you'll ever eat. So, the you best stick around for next rice week. pudding I've ever ate. Yeah. So, I guess that's going to do it for this week. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, which is a like. Share us on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, give us some comments of some things you cook on your stove that we can cook out here. Uh, subscribe yeah. if you haven't. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.